Headlines Uganda. Daily Monitor. The best of UCE. The 2023 results show an improved performance with 95.9% .9 candidates qualifying to join post UCE institutions. New Vision. UCE, best schools, students. First Lady explains suspension of NEA level curriculum. How Israeli commando stealthily landed? The standard. Rayla, why I want to be Africa CEO. Fresh hope as shillings rebounds. Transition, judge who tried to save Kenya. Questions over safety of stars. Standard Pulse. House of Lies differing tunes on music royalties. Film Kalasha Awards. Fashion crop from the top. The only way to get alive. The Citizen. Oil marketers count losses as dollar rate crunch bites. Beer gamble that puts Zanzibar's economy at risk. Uganda in talks to import all its oil through Tanzania. The New Times. Rwanda's record 1 billion US dollar mineral revenue inspires growth miners. Genocide, UN court set to close Rwanda field office. The Narrow Bayan. Monica murder, unanswered questions in guilty verdict. Legend dies, mishap that left kept them dead, woman traumatized. The Star. Rayla. Ruto Opak, Jitters Rock Azimio. XPM would exit local politics if elected AUC chairman, giving Ruto Field Day in 2027 elections to leadership again. Daily Nation. Power struggle rocks countries. Why the shillings is gaining ground. How African Union bid affects Rayla's political game. The Star. Notable Kenyans whose bodies were cremated after death. Body of actor Charles Charliuta will be cremated 2024. Nation Africa. White House announces President Joe Biden will host President William Ruto and First Lady for state visit to the U.S. to mark 60th anniversary of relations. Vision quote. Celebrating Archbishop John Nee Lewis. If I, the shepherd, flee, what will happen to the sheep? Your bravery and heroic service will forever be remembered. Nation Africa. How Obit affects Rayla's political game. Banking on the support of President Ruto in the bid, he is likely to slow down his criticism. The Standard JSC shortlists seven candidates for the position of Chief Registrar of the Judiciary including Rose Mock Aria and others, interviews set for March 18.